Okay, how exactly do we figure out our position relative to a VOR? As I said at the beginning, I'm going to have to ask you to forget everything you know about a VOR. Trust me, this system is so much simpler than what you're used to. Think about it. The needle points to the right, you go to the right, the needle goes to the left, you go to the left. Oh wait, but you might be in reverse sensing. That's if the flag has a from instead of a to. Come on, this is complete nonsense. How does a VOR work? It's very simple. Let's say that I ask you what is your position relative to me and let's say I'm in Texas and you're in Maine. Well your simplest answer would be to say that you are northeast of me. Well that's exactly what a VOR does. For example, this VOR is telling me that it is located to the northeast of me. How, how do I know it? It's incredibly simple. A VOR, like you before giving me two cardinal directions to get to you, is giving me a couple of cardinal directions telling me where it's located. In this case, the VOR is telling me that it's north and east of me. How do I know this? Well, first of all, that little to from flag, let's just call it a flag and forget that there is a to from on it. It's just a flag. It's one of the indicators that directs you towards the VOR. In this case, as you see, it is pointing down. So I look at a cardinal direction on the same side that that flag is pointing to. If I go straight down from that flag, I can see that it's saying, hey, go north. That is one of the two cardinal directions that we must use to go to that station. The second cardinal direction is shown by the needle. The needle will swing to one side. You must find a number on that side. And in this case, it's evident that east is on that side. So I found one cardinal direction for the flag, north, the other one for the needle, east. This VOR is telling me it's north east of me. It is that simple. Now I'm going to give you another thorough explanation on how we use this method so everything gets clear. Remember, you need to forget what you know. First of all, do you see that to from flag? You know, do you see the, the to and the from on that instrument? No, you don't. That to and from does not exist, okay? That's the first step you need to do. Realize that there is no to from. Second, we look at what side the flag is pointing to. As you see, the flag is pointing straight up. This pretty much means that the cardinal direction it's pointing to will be on the top side of the instrument. The bottom 180 degree of the instrument you can pretty much black out because our cardinal direction cannot belong in the bottom side of the instrument. Now straight from the top if we look for a cardinal direction the closest cardinal direction to the top of the instrument is what? We have west on that side and south on that side, but the closest cardinal direction to me is south. That's one of the cardinal directions we need to go south to get to the station. Okay, South is one of the two cardinal directions we are required to fly to to get to that station. Fourth, now we're going to look at the needle. Okay, Now we're looking at the needle and the needle is on the left side. This eliminates the right 180 degree side of the instrument, meaning our cardinal direction, the second cardinal direction that we're looking for, cannot be on that side there, and that's why it's gone. The cardinal direction is on the left side. If I go straight to the middle of that and find the closest cardinal direction to the middle, as you see, east is on that side. If we want to fly to the station, we need to fly south, and east, putting us northwest of the station. Okay, let's look at, uh, for example, a question to see how this method actually helps us. Let's say, given the following VOR, you're asked to identify what your position is, and the possible answers are 8, 12, or 2. Okay, again, I'm going to look at my VOR. As we see, 
the flag points towards the south meaning I must be north of the station and the needle points towards the west so I'm east of the station so for me to fly to the station I would have to fly southwest well then I have to be northeast of the station if I have to be northeast of the station and I look at the three answers the only answer that matches is answer number eight